Sean in the UK. Sean. Uh, it's, let me oh. click the buttons first. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Sean in the UK can hear us. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I can. Hey. Um, so we don't have as much time. my call. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I know we're running long, but God, we did. We have so many callers, and we don't. We, good callers, and we didn't want to wait a week. So yeah. that's understandable. <laughs> we okay. didn't want to wait to talk to you. No. Uh, so it says in the notes that you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're going to be a little more at a clip, just because of timing. But it says in the notes okay. that you think that infinity can be a quantity. Um, yeah. So, 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 um, first question, I guess, why is that? Where does that fit into the conversations that we that we have on the show? And then once we get there, why do you think that? Okay. Um, well, there is at least one um, prominent figure in the atheist community that says that infinity cannot be a quantity, namely uh, Matt Dillahunty. And it's a bit of a pet peeve of mine that he keeps bringing this up. So I thought that I would call. Um, uh, one of the prominent atheist uh, call-in shows um, to sort things out. Um, okay. Well, we we so we definitely can't speak for Matt. Um, and I, okay. I I don't even so. But we, we can, wouldn't want to like we're we're yeah. we're we're our own people. But we are also very interested in this topic and interested in not repeating what might be a bad talking point. So so uh, go for it. Yeah, okay. yeah, Sean. I from what I understand about infinity, from what I was taught. Now this is, I don't feel like I'm arguing as much as I'm just trying my best to remember high school. <laughs> you know, okay. uh, well, in some college classes. But it, from from what I was taught, infinity is a concept that it is um, basically a, an equation, you know, it's, it, or you would look at it the same way that you would look at an equation because it, it, it's not set. It's just the idea of forever or infinite. You know what I mean? Um, well, the, there are many different kinds of infinity. And okay. uh, the one that I like to bring up is um, countable infinity. Um, so uh, in book nine of Euclid's Elements, so this was a few thousand years ago now, um, Proposition 20 proves that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Okay. Um, and so, if you want, I could go through the proof. No, um, no, no. I, I, so so I, I, I actually am on board so far. Um, okay. So when you're saying infinite, infinity is a quantity, though, it feels like there's another step that needs to happen here because you, you, you're talking about uh, countable well, numbers. Um, Let me qualify it a little sure. bit. Um, infinity can be a quantity, but not every quantity is. N not every infinity can be a quantity. So ooh, ooh, the, can, can, the different can, kinds of infinity. Um, can I offer? Can I offer so, a way to rephrase it? Sure. Would you say that? Could I say instead of saying infinity can be a quantity, that infinity yeah. can? That means not always, but can be quantitative. There's a difference. Yes. That's a better way of putting it. Because a quantity implies a set rigid, you know, thing. And due to the nature of infinity, okay. I don't think a quantity, I, 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 I think there's a bit of a disconnect. And it's probably just linguistic, but it's enough to okay. make my brain fizz, like just, just burn out. Um, but, <laughs> but, if we, but if we can agree that infinity can be quantitative, that you know, yeah. countable numbers, or the set of all countable numbers, or the set of you know uh, the infinite number, uh, the infinite prime numbers, right? Um, that you can actually have discrete quant, you know, quantities within that subset, but it's still infinity, right? I, 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 I yeah. Is, is is that a good kind of middle ground there? Yeah. Um, hey. Uh, all right. So oh, cheers. Um, I'm having a drink and I think I'm clear things up. I'm gonna nicely. buy myself a cake. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I, I, I feel I, like a better pun here would be a pie. Oh god V. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> so 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 Sean, um if we take into account linguistics, I think I may have to settle on, you know, I, I don't agree that infinity is or can be a quantity you know when i think of like like a, a a box of of apples right there's a quantity in there okay it doesn't 
Yeah. Uh, but if you can say it's quantitative, quantitative, what is the best way to pronounce that word? Quantitative? Quantitative. Quantitative. Yeah. Oh, God, the English language is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, then, yeah, we're good. What about you, V? What do you think? Okay. I think that I'm going to sit on my pie pun and not say anything <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, uh, okay. hope, hopefully that helps. I, I, I think uh, I think we're in agreement. Yeah, I think. Okay, cool. Yay! As always, there are multiple ways to use words, and using absolutes when talking about a definition of a word is generally a bad idea, regardless of what the word is, especially if there yeah. are known multiple uses that can mean different things and can be used in different ways. So in the future, if someone says, infinity cannot be a quantity the next question is which definition of infinity are you using well and and could we rephrase it as quantitative versus a quantity right because i think we both agreed that that slight difference is the difference between us agreeing and not agreeing that's fair good point all yeah. right thank you so much sean thank you sean you're welcome thanks for taking my call thank you <laughs> bye I, that made me happy I don't know why math makes me happy nowadays. I, I, I hated math most of my life. I still feel like I hate math, but talking about philosophy and math for some reason uh, has just, mm, it's just good. <laughs>